three more solo drills. These are all on the adult syllabus. Um, you will need to double check if they're on the junior syllabus or not. The three techniques we're going to do is uh, ground strangle from the left uh, into shoulder lock, ground strangle from the right into crossover arm lock, and half Nelson step left. So, first one, ground strangle from the left. I'll move this down again so you can see the mat. So, I'm running on the ground, the attacker is on my left hand side. They're strangling me, now they need to put a bit of pressure on me, they need to push down. And if they push down, the technique works very well. If they're sat back on their haunches like this and doing a struggle, this technique doesn't work. They need to be over and leaning on you, almost in like a sort of semi press up type position. So, the footwork, this is the footwork. My left leg is going to go over the top. My left hand is going to go on the ground to support me, and I'm going to come up onto my knees. So that's the basic position we're going to get in. So again, left leg goes over, left hand supports me, I slide up with my knees. I'll do it this way so you can see the other way. So from here, left leg goes over, left hand goes down, I come up onto my knees, my right hand is going to be forward there, underneath the opponent's arm, in a, in a back hammer lock position. So the next part of the arm and footwork. With my uh, right hand, I'm going to grab my opponent's left arm to pin that one to my neck, to my chest, and keep it there. Then I'm going to put my right hand on the inside of their elbow, and I'm pushing them straight forward, straight in that direction. So this left leg goes over, as I showed you earlier. Push them over, use your left hand to support you from there, drive that through, and there's your finish. You're just going to squeeze up at the end, put pressure on the shoulder at the very end. I'll do it this way as well. So they're on my left hand side. I'm going to hold this arm. This leg goes over. I push them over. I use this hand to support myself. I come up, drive that arm through. So that's the ground strangle from the left into shoulder lock. And then we've got ground strangle from the right into crossover arm lock. So I'm on the ground. This one's on my right hand side. They're strangling me here. Now they can be sat back with this one, but normally they would still be leaning on me. Just not with quite so much pressure, perhaps, as the other one, uh, but it works either way. So I'm going to grab hold of their right arm this time and hold that in position because that's the one I want. I'm going to use my right hand on their belly button to push to leave a gap to my right knee. So my right knee is going to slot in there. That's the first bit of the technique. Now, notice the position I'm in. My knees are up, my head is up. So my knees are up to support my abdomen, my head is up so I can see what's going on. If I'm doing this, then I can't really perform the technique in this position. I just look like I'm, uh, I'm worn out or sleeping. So as soon as I'm on the ground, I'm in this position, ready for action. Hold the hand, push the stomach, drive your knee in. Next, your leg goes over the top of their arms and around to the, up, to the outside of their head. Then you're going to use your leg to bring them down, holding on to this right arm that you had before. Make sure their right arm, right elbow is above your thigh because that is going to be your pressure at the end to, to put pressure on that elbow, simulating an elbow break. It is an elbow break, so be very careful with it. So again, from this position, they're on this side of me. I hold the hand, I push the stomach, I drop my knee in, hold them in position. I bring my leg up and over the top, bring them down, pull them in nice and tight to their elbows above my leg, and I squeeze at the end. I'm going to do it once more this way. They're on this side of me. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's my finish. So there are your two ground strangles from the right and from the left. Uh, and the last one I'm going to do is half Nelson step left. This is a hand stand up technique. So your opponent is stood behind you. I'll get my shoes. So I'll use my, my uh, shoes, my fake person. Uh, can you see that? Just, just. So there's my person behind me. Now they're going to grab me. They're going to grab my left wrist with their left wrist. Now, grab it like you'd grab a, a bottle or a glass. I see some people grabbing like this. You don't normally hold a bottle or a, if you hold a glass like that, you're going to spill it over me. So, hold it that way. So, your thumb and index finger at the top of your hand, like that, okay? So, they're going to grab you from behind with their left hand, just like that. And they're going to hold on to my left wrist. Yeah, their right arm is going to go underneath my armpit, around the back of my neck. This now is the half Nelson position. Left hand to left hand, right hand to the back of my neck. Now, if I simply try and move 
the chances are they're going to anticipate that movement and they're going to hold on to me and not let me move. So what I do is I do two things simultaneously. Um, three things, actually. I step to the left and lower my, my weight because to, to bring their arm up here is a long way. So what I do is I bring my head down. So I step left, lower my weight, and stick my hand on my head to look like a cockle. Okay, so my, the, the, my uh, left palm of my hand is now facing to my left, and my thumb is at the bottom. Okay, so this is the movement. So I've got me underneath the armpit there. I'm going to go one, two. And again, one, two. So I'm grabbing their hand, not their wrist, their hand. Ins up above the thumb there, or below the thumb, below the thumb. Okay, and I face this way so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go from here, I'm going to go one. Or one, two. <laughs> one, two, but it's going to be one movement. One. I grab their hand, then I turn in a clockwise direction towards my opponent. Do that again. From there, get low, put your hand on your head like a cockerel, grab your hand for simulation, and then just turn towards your opponent. And you're not far off the technique from that position, believe me. This is a wrist break. If you do this fast action and a fast, swift action on that, you break the wrist. So when you're working with a partner, obviously slow and steady. Once more on this one, uh, I don't know if it'll help chasing the way, but I'll give it a go. So I'm not facing away from you. So they've grabbed my left arm, the right arm's behind my neck. I'm gonna go one, two. Okay, so that's your half Nelson uh, step left. We'll do two of these, and that's the half Nelson step left. Keep training. See you soon.